Great. <laughs> you should be a chat show host. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> I would watch it. Oh, thank you. Okay, so one of the things I really enjoyed about this process um, has been the fact that I've had such a close experience what it would be like if I was working in an industry mm. um, in your rehearsal room. And I think that's probably because um, of all the work you've done with Travis and your constant like passion for going out and seeing what's happening in the industry, encouraging the staff here to watch shows, etc. Um, so yeah, can you speak to like me about you know how that came about and why your why your room is the way it is? Oh. Yeah. Um, why is my room the way it is? Why is your room? I suppose the... I don't. I don't know. You don't how know what else, it's like. I don't know how else I would do it. That, yeah. That, I've been working as a director for mm -hmm. over 20 years mm -hmm. out there, um, wow. all over the UK, all over the world. Wow. And so when I come in to work at Guildhall, mm -hmm. I don't know how else to do it, yeah. apart from how I do it out there in mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And to do something radically different feels mm -hmm. like um, that would be an unusual choice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want to bring into Guildhall who I am, mm -hmm. how I work, how mm -hmm. I'm doing it, right now out there mm -hmm. and what I've loved is that I'm learning all the time as well that actually mm -hmm. it's a bit different here mm -hmm. it's a bit different here because you are training yeah you're not quite out there yet mm -hmm. and so I have a responsibility and a relationship to you all that is different I think mm -hmm. and yet somehow not different to how it would be out there mm -hmm. and I'll be honest with you I'm still learning what that is totally I'm still not quite sure what that is mm -hmm. um and something about that you all know each other so well. I remember mm -hmm. on that first day, I was like, you feel like a family. Mm -hmm. You feel like a family and I'm, I'm coming into your family and, uh, and navigating that. And that's something you've all got for free that mm -hmm. I wouldn't underestimate, the power of that ensemble, mm -hmm. the trust, um, the nuanced understanding you have of each other of what's going on in the room mm -hmm. makes you very strong. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know it can drive you all bananas to yeah, you, but... Yeah. Um, that's a difference for me coming in that I'm navigating but otherwise yeah it's not a million miles away I think the way that I'm running the room or holding mm -hmm. the space from how I would be out there yeah that's great and I think it's just majorly key for us because we're able to see like have a new experience with new writing mm. and um, the process of really being rigorous with the way we read our lines mm. so that the writer can really absorb what she's written um she being steph smith yeah um and yeah i think just on relationships i want to touch uh -huh. on that because obviously the play is centered on this these bro these brotherhoods and sisterhoods yes. we have that in our classroom yes. in itself as people first of all before we take on the characters and like how did that come about that relationship with yourself um and steph and with beth as well mm. who's your associate director um well Steph and I met way back, maybe seven years ago. She was someone I met at the Traverse okay. quite soon after I arrived. Um, I wanted to meet her. She mm. just won an Olivier Award for a play called Roadkill. Oh, wow. And so I was very keen to meet Steph Smith. And we met. And on the day I met her, she was so angry. She, was, she had a real bee in her bonnet about something. Mm -hmm. and, then, and, uh, and I said, you need you need to write this down. You need to channel this anger into a piece of work. And that became a play called Swallow. That was um, mm. a play that I commissioned and developed with her and went on to direct. Mm. And um, Steph um, is a writer I feel that, um, yeah, I have a close connection with. I, mm. I feel that as humans, we're bonded as well as as artists mm -hmm. and so it's interesting you talk about sisterhood and, mm. and, and and family that maybe Steph and I are bringing a bit of our family into your room yeah um, and I really hear you when you say well we're brothers and sisters mm -hmm. um, as an ensemble of actors so you can relate you can hard relate to some yeah, of these yeah. situations you've yes. got them mm -hmm. yeah I hadn't quite thought about it like that yeah so interesting mm -hmm. I love what you said about you know, directing, helping Steph to like channel her frustration mm. and her anger that day into action. I think mm. that's something that we as women have to do. I've heard Beyonce say it, I love Beyonce. I've heard Audre Lord say it as mm. well. Um, just harnessing as much as we can, acknowledging first the anger and then mm. turning to action. Mm. And mm -hmm. I think something that angers me personally is just the fact that as of 2018, there was about, let's say, 65% of audience members, mm. the stats said, were women. 
but then we won't we weren't represented on stage mm-hmm. as such and we weren't represented in rooms as well in terms mm. of directors and mm-hmm. stuff like that and that's changing and how do you think that we can move more mm. into developing that well, I think we move more by commissioning women, yeah. casting women, mm-hmm. inviting women to come and take a lead. Mm-hmm. Like, it happens because we make it happen. Right. It happens because we make those decisions. Yeah. And so, say with our season of work, this for your third year. Yeah. I don't know how aware you are of the gender balance of the writers, yes. of the directors, yep. and of the of the cast mm-hmm. that very mindfully mm-hmm. we've made choices around the repertoire mm-hmm. to make sure that gender is attended to mm-hmm. in terms of who holds the power in the room as director, mm-hmm. uh, as writer, mm-hmm. and also in the casting that there are some um, strong, central mm-hmm. women in these plays. Mm-hmm. And they're often women who aren't the arch- archetypal women Mm. Um, or if they are like the mother Mm -hmm. she might not be the mother you first thought she was or like the queen like Mm -hmm. you're playing Eurydice yep but she's um she's a revelation Mm -hmm. I feel yeah I feel she's a revelation Mm -hmm. and the way she takes her power in the play Mm -hmm. as a character especially towards the end great man I'm just hearing a thread you're saying we should be more mindful, I'm hearing sensitivity from you as well. In um, when outside work, what's the way that you are able to be mindful and sensitive? Gosh. What do you like to do? I think it's about respect. It's about no one's better than anybody else. Mm. It's about always giving people the benefit of the doubt, mm. leaving your preconceptions at the door not jumping to any quick and lazy conclusions about people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And about really committing to going on the journey yeah. together. Absolutely. And even when you you lead the preconceptions and a person carves themselves out, allowing them to change, right? Of course. Because there can be many. Because change is development, is evolution. Mm-hmm. And sometimes we mistake change for weakness. Like mm-hmm. if you don't stick, stick to your plan, stick to your words that somehow we can think, oh, that's a bit yeah. of a failure there. You they lack got integrity. it wrong. Yeah. But actually, it takes um, it, it's a very powerful thing to change mm-hmm. and own the change because you're evolving, mm-hmm. and if you don't evolve, you die. I think that's powerful, man. We can just end <laughs> on that. If you don't evolve, you die. I, I think, think that's so. an encourage- I think that's, a, that's something we can take to the theatre. If we don't evolve with the times, if yes. we do not bring what's happening in our lives into the theatre, into film, TV, and all other parts of art, you'll yes. die. Because art is the world, and the world is art. We're one and the same. So I, I, I agree. Mm. I agree. I'm here for that, man. Good, me too. But I love that. If we don't evolve, we die. I believe it. Here's to women, man.